Hi, right, Dr. Paul Hader here. Well, and I just got to tell you about a study that was done uh, that was really interesting, and it happened a few decades ago. It's not a new study. They took a whole bunch of people, about 300, and they put them in a theater, and they had catheters in, in them uh, in, to collect blood, and they had them watch comedies. And so they would draw blood as they were laughing. <laughs> Everybody was laughing. They were really you know, great slapstick and uh, interesting stand-up comedies and all kinds of things. And so they looked at the blood and they could see uh, the white blood cells going along really active and they were gobbling up, you know, bacteria. And then they saw the T cells that were taking out uh, viruses and antibodies that were you know, taking out infections and all kinds of things. It was just moving like lightning speed. It was like, wow. And then they take these same people and they changed the movies and went into very sad movies, you know, Brian Song and all these different ones. Everybody's crying, you know. And then they look at their blood. They take blood again and they look at their blood and the, every one of the white cells, the T cells, the, you know, their antibodies are completely not moving at all. It's not doing anything. And it was like, wow, look at that. And so, you know, we've had a very interesting answer for a very long time. We know that uh, laughter is supremely healing, you know. And even Norman Cousins, you know, healed his cancer from just by watching you know, crazy comedies in the hospital. He's like, well, I'm going to watch these until I get better. And then laugh and laugh and laugh. And it's amazing what laughter will do. And I think that's why I laugh a lot, because I just think it, life is absurd. <laughs> You know, and I think that we got to laugh at the craziness of life. Otherwise, we'll be crying. And then that's not good. You know, we really, the negative emotions are okay in small doses, you know what I mean? Because, but the laughter is amazing and it heals. Even there are laughing classes. In Ayurvedic medicine, even, they talk about laughter as being the most important, you know, ability to heal. And they even have in Ayurvedic medicine the laughing, laughing classes. In the you start laughing out loud for nothing, and they have you know thirty, forty people in a class, and you just go around and you start laughing, and everybody starts laughing, and we just keep laughing, and it becomes contagious. That everybody's just laughing out loud. You know what I mean? Uh, I think one of the most important things that happened in my life was to have a great boss when I worked at the at the uh, wonderful university. And, you know, the reason I went to work was not because of the work. You no, know, the work was fine. It was good. It was, we were doing research and very interesting things. But my b boss, Bob, was the reason I went to work every day. That man had so many jokes. I, don't, I had never heard the same joke twice from Bob, ever. And I can actually count probably about... 30, 40 times that I was physically laying on the floor laughing with that side ache. Because <laughs> he made me laugh so much I couldn't do work. <laughs> and I think it's really important. I, and I, and God bless Bob, he's gone off into the other side of the veil now. But he was a wonderful man. And he could, I, I don't know how he kept this catalog of jokes in his head. I really don't. <laughs> but it is amazing. If you want to feel better, you know, don't look at the world and, and cry. That doesn't help anything. Don't look at the world and feel sad. That doesn't help anything. Look at the world and see how absurd it is. <laughs> And laugh, you know what I mean? And that will make it better. It doesn't get rid of the problem, but it will actually change you so you can look at the problem in a different way. And that's uh, what we really need more of. If we were actually to change our attitude about a lot of stuff, then things will get better. And this is even talked about in all the spiritual texts also. And so it's really important that we allow ourselves to move to a... a 
amazing change within us. You know, and uh, there's a Jewish proverb that says, as soap is to the body, so laughter is to the soul. And I think that's really, really important. I, mean, I think they've nailed it right there. And uh, Lao Tzu, the great uh, philosopher, and uh, he also said, as soon as you have made a thought, laugh at it. And I, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you made something up, it's serious. <laughs> laugh at yourself. And a lot of people have a hard time laughing at themselves. And I think that's, we're way too serious in this life. This is what starts wars. You know, one person talks to another. This is, uh, yeah, you know, they become very serious and then they end up creating problems and we end up with wars. So we really need to lighten up. <laughs> <laughs> and start seeing things in a whole different way. Even Plato said, you know, even the gods love jokes. <laughs> uh, even in the Quran, they say he deserves paradise who makes uh, his companions laugh. And I think that's true. Uh, if you have ever seen comedians, I think they are worth their weight in gold <laughs> because they can make people laugh and laugh about the most absurd things. And that's what they're trying really to do, is make you look at life and say, well, this is craziness. <laughs> and it really is. There's no doubt about it, you know. Uh, we need to be uh, absurdly uh, full of silliness. And if anybody could be silly in this day and age. I think that they are amazing because... We need to lighten up. We need to be silly. We need to be crazy. You know, we need to, we need to be uh, heart light-hearted about everything in the world. Also, in Proverbs fifteen fifteen says, "He that is a merry heart has a continual feast," and I think that's really important because you know, if you ever met anybody that laughs all the time, uh, you like being around them. You just just admit it. <laughs> <laughs> I like being around those people too. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. So we end up even enjoying the feast with them. So why not, you know, enjoy the feast even by ourselves? I, I think that's really important. We can get rid of viruses. We can get rid of, you know, oh, you know, the cancers in our our lives with just laughing. We've shown this. We can get rid of bacteria. We've shown this on and on and on. The laughter is the best medicine, as they say. And uh, there's a lot of different people who have talked about this. Uh, there was a doctor, Madden Katana. Katrana. Uh, I have not seen anyone die of laughter, but I know millions who are dying because they're not laughing. <laughs> and that's what we're at right now. People are dying because they're not laughing. And we take, I see people contact me all the time. They're so serious about everything. And this is exactly the problem because when we get these serious emotions going on, our immune system is depressed, like I told you in the study. All of a sudden, the white cells are not doing their jobs. All of a sudden, the T cells are not doing their job. All of a sudden, the immune system is totally depressed. The antibodies won't do their job. So we become, what? Sick. You know, we're sick of heart to begin with, you know what I mean? Because we need to be merry. So it's allowing ourselves to, allow ourselves to change everything deep down inside. Now, this doctor also said, if laughter cannot solve your problem, it will definitely dissolve your problem. So you can think clearly about what you can do to change all this. And I think that's really important. You know, Viktor Frankl was in uh, the concentration camps. You know, I think it's uh, very interesting that he had went through some very hard times. And he said, I would never have made it if I could not have laughed. Uh, it lifted me momentarily out of horrible situations just enough to make it livable. And that's what we need right now. More laughter, less tears, uh, you know. Of course, you know, we allow to let our feelings out. There's no doubt about that, but laughter is the best medicine. And I think Sid Caesar, God bless his soul, 
he is a man who used to make us laugh all the time. He said, if you have no tragedy, you have no comedy. Crying and laughter are the same emotion. Uh, if you laugh too hard, you cry, and vice versa. <laughs> and I love it when I laugh so hard that I start to cry. <laughs> this is the best medicine there is. You know, better than getting a flu shot. It's better than getting, you know, a pneumonia shot. It's better than anything. Have you met people who are extremely healthy, who laugh all the time? I have. And I think a lot more people will need to do this. We would have a lot healthier world. There's no doubt about that. Even Benjamin Franklin said, if you would not be laughed at, be the first to laugh at yourself, you know? And a lot of people have a hard time with that. Oh, everything's serious, you know, and I can't laugh at myself. But what? I can laugh at myself all, the time, all day long. You know, all the things I do, a lot of it is... It's craziness. What most people do is craziness, you know what I mean? And just make hard, open-hearted laughter about the whole thing. Uh, in Judges, in the Bible, it says, let your heart be merry. And we're being told this in all these spiritual texts, even Lao Tzu and, and in the Bible and all these different things. They're talking about the fact that we're supposed to laugh all the time and be lighthearted about everything. You know, there's Norman Cousins. Laughter serves as a blocking agent, like a bulletproof vest. It may be, it may help protect you against the ravages of negative emotions that can assault you in disease. And negative emotions are the things that we seem to be collecting right now instead of the opposite. So we need to collect a lot of laughter. You know, and look at your day. Look at your day every day. See how much you laughed and see how much you cried or how much you were sad, how much you have anxiety, how much joy you had, and, and try to balance that out. It's got to be at least a balance. If there's not a balance, at least you got to have uh, more laughter, you know what I mean? More laughter so that you end up with a, a surplus on the laughter side and, uh, and not, you know, if we don't have any sadness, that's even great. You know what I mean? So laugh. I've known people who were dirt poor, but they laughed a lot. And that, that I think that keeps people uh, from succumbing to disease. In fact, I know one man who has uh, some physical problems going on, but I think this man keeps hanging on because he laughs all the time. And... He, Doctors keep telling him, you know, uh, you have, you know, maybe a year or two, but, you know, it's been 10 years. <laughs> and he just keeps going. So I think it's really interesting that you know, laughter keeps inoculating us with this immune boosting agent. And uh, we used to keep feeling good. And even Red Skelton, the great master of all kinds of comedy, said, no matter what your heartache may be, Laughing helps you to forget it for a few seconds. And that, I think that's so wonderful. And uh, I think that we need to uh, bless ourselves with, with laughter. Laughter is a blessing. Absolutely. And if you can confer uh, that laughter blessing upon anybody else, you are blessed also. Anytime that you bless anybody with laughter, you are... Yeah, absolutely going to be blessed yourself because you're going to laugh too. Because <laughs> you can't help but laugh, you know what I mean? Uh, so they're going to, it's contagious. They're going to laugh. So we're all uplifted when we're going to feel better and life changes on and on and on. Even Mark Twain said, the best way to cheer yourself is to try, is to cheer somebody else up. And I think that's really true. We, we need to have the contagious moment of laughter. And you cheer somebody up and change their life forever. William James said, we don't laugh because we're happy. We are happy because we laugh. And I think that's one of the things we got discombobulated right now. <laughs> <laughs> we think we should laugh because of what, you know, we're happy and what's going on. No, 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 laugh anyway. Keep laughing, and then life will be uh, lighthearted and easier going. And, and then we'll become healthier. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Merrily Belgium said, when you laugh, 
you get a glimpse of God. And that's absolutely true. And the more we do this, the more we uplift ourselves, the more we laugh, the more we have a smile on our face. You know, I, I want to have this permanently <laughs> etched in my face uh, to the day I die, you know. I'm going to die with a smile on my face and hopefully in the middle of a laugh. <laughs> so allow yourself to move away from the sadness, you know, and move away from that, all those negative emotions, you know, the anger, the hate. Move away from all the sadness and heartache and anxiety and start laughing. And bless you if you make somebody else laugh. And I uh, just want to leave you with that and uh, hope you will become uh, you're a, com a comedian in your own right and go out and help others to laugh. And because everybody can make people laugh, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you can't figure out a joke yourself, go look them up. There's a million of them <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> and they will help you to make other people laugh. And... Most of all, remember, if you care to subscribe, I really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me, you know, all my contact information, hit show more, and it's all down below. My uh, email, my phone number, my uh, Skype address is there. Uh, also, remember, I go to bed at 8 p.m., so Eastern Standard Time, so call early. Uh, but if you call and leave a message, if you live in the States, I'll get back to you. If not, please email me if you live outside the United States. And I'd love to hear from you. And all my consults are always free. And so please contact with me, uh, contact me, and I'll help you in any way, shape, or form that I can. And also, if you care to make a donation, that is greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, there's a donation link down below. And also, there's a patron link. So if you want to make a, you know, a, a dollar amount every month uh, donation, that is greatly appreciated also. And so... Remember the most important thing of all, laugh a lot, and I love you. <laughs>